Hey, midlifers, welcome to the Midlife Makeover Show. Are you ready to break free from your mundane midlife? Are you feeling trapped in a vicious cycle of rinse and repeat days? No matter if you're experiencing a divorce hangover, job burnout, or you just have the midlife blues, I got you. Hey, I'm Wendy, your hostess of the Midlife Mostest. I too was hit by midlife like a freight train. I too felt stuck in the same dull chapter. I wanted the clarity of how to create a new life beyond divorce and the courage to leave an unfulfilling career. But I kept telling myself that I wasn't worthy and it was just easier to stay in my comfort zone until I found a little secret, the freedom to live my life my way. In this podcast, you will learn how to achieve a vibrant midlife mind and body, how to create solid relationships through love and loss, and how to create an awesome second half of life. Grab your grande latte, pop in your earbuds, and let's get this midlife party started. Thank you to Amberin for sponsoring the Midlife Makeover Show. Amberin is the number one menopause supplement in the U.S. and clinically proven to provide relief of 12 major symptoms. Amber M Complex is their unique formulation that helps you restore hormonal balance to break the symptom cycle and help you get relief from the bothersome symptoms of menopause. Stay tuned for more on this amazing supplement. Woohoo! Welcome back to the Midlife Makeover Show. We have some great wins and some great wisdom to share with you today. Well, wait, it's not we, it's just me. (laughs) Today is the solo show, faux show. Before I share some wins and wisdom, I want to share a few links to help you and I connect beyond this show. Number one, themidlifenews.com. Sign up for the Midlife News to receive insider alerts on new episodes, live shows, free workshops, and special offers. As a bonus, you'll receive your free Midlife Makeover Toolkit and a $50 coupon to the Midlife Makeover Method online course. Number two, the Midlife Makeover Club. It's our private Facebook community for all things related to midlife, relationships, health, mindset, and more. You'll receive episode updates, interview clips of the show, and basically anything to help you live, love, and laugh through midlife. Finally, number three, midlifemakeovermethod.com. This is my four-week self-study online course where I teach you how to break free from the cycle of monotony. You'll be able to jumpstart your midlife makeover with clarity, courage, and confidence. If you forget any of those links, they are listed in the show notes. And now let's get on with the wins and wisdom. As for the wins that I am super excited to share with you, The Midlife Makeover Show now has over 17,000 downloads after just 39 episodes. Wowza. Another win. Out of 2.4 million podcasts in the world, we are ranked in the top 2.5%. Gasp! One more winner, winner, chicken dinner. We are the number one podcast for all things midlife. As you know, there's a lot of things going on at midlife, empty nests, divorce, money, retirement, relationships, life purpose, travel, freedom, menopause, eh, midlife crisis, mid-belly crisis, and trying not to lose it through all the changes at midlife. My goal is that the Midlife Makeover Show brings you everything you need to help you design your second half of life. I am beyond excited for the success of the podcast, and I am humbled for everyone that tunes into the show. So thank you, thank you, thank you. As the CEO, CMO, COO, CFO, and the C3PO (laughs) of the Midlife Makeover Show, there is actually quite a bit that goes on behind the scenes of creating this podcast. If you looked at my calendar, you guys, color coordinated, of course, you would probably wonder when I even sleep or eat. Yeah, I do too. My weekly schedule consists of writing episode content, interviewing guests, going live on Instagram, creating video clips, uploading episodes on all the many podcast channels, writing blogs, coaching clients, posting on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, TikTok, and YouTube, 
praying they don't come out with another social media platform, researching topics and guests, designing a new digital course, writing a new book, making reels for social media. Oh my gosh. Somehow managing to eat, sleep, cook, clean, meditate, work out, drink coffee, dry all this dang hair of mine, and take my sweet little puppy Daisy out for walks. Shoo-wee. But in between all that busyness, I think, well, that's good to know that I think. (laughs) Seriously, I think a lot about what you need. I listen, I observe, and I contemplate what you need to learn from me, my guests, and this show. Similar to what JFK said, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. I actually say to myself, ask not what your midlifers could do for you, ask what you can do for your midlifers. I am constantly searching my mind and my own personal life experiences for wisdom to help you create your best life. Today's topic popped into my wild mind when I was spinning, not spinning in circles, although I do that too sometimes. (laughs) but spinning on my indoor Peloton bike, which if you're not familiar with the Peloton, it comes with a monitor and live online classes taught by spinning instructors. Anyways, I was in my little zone, sweating like crazy with the wheels of my bike turning so fast, like I was in the Tour de France, when the instructor shouted out some words of motivation that really got the wheels in my head turning. Quite honestly, I don't even remember what the guy said, but whatever he said, it got me thinking about what motivates you to achieve your goals and to really go after life with grit and gusto like you're in the Tour de France. On the flip side, it made me wonder what blocks you and stands in your way from fulfilling your dreams, reaching your health goals, traveling to all those places on your bucket list creating better relationships, or finally starting that dream career that would allow your gifts and strengths to shine. I wanted to know more about what makes you stop rather than what makes you go. In that very instant, my favorite quote from Marianne Williamson popped into my mind. With sweat dripping down my face and panting like a dog, (laughs) I know that's such a lovely visual, I said the quote out loud while I continued to spin like a maniac. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. When I first heard this quote about eight years ago, it really made me stop and think. There I go, thinking again. (laughs) Those words and the meaning of those words hit me right in the gut. Do you know what that's like when you hear something that you know is true, but you don't want to admit that it's true, even to yourself? This quote was so true for me. I knew I wasn't demanding the best of myself and for myself. My spirit wanted more out of life. I was blocking my spirit from getting more. I didn't think I was worthy to be happy or to allow my gifts and talents to flourish. I placed limits on myself and even made up limitations just so I didn't have to make changes in my life. Well, the kids need me. My spouse needs me. My friends need me. My cat needs me. It'll cost too much to start my business. I don't want to waste the money if it fails. I don't have enough education or credentials or certifications. I don't have enough time. It's too stressful. I'm too young. I'm too old. I'm too this. I'm too that. Blah, blah, blah. Interestingly, I wasn't scared of the dark. As a matter of fact, the darkness in my life was almost comfortable to me, sadly. I knew how to manipulate my fears maneuver through my darkness, and make believe that my mundane midlife was acceptable. I was comfortable hanging out in the dark, and I was uncomfortable with being in the light. I was terrified of the light within myself and who I needed to become in order to make my light shine. Because what does the light mean, really? 
The light means you are being your most untethered, unhinged, unstoppable, and unleashed self. It means that you are allowing your gifts, strengths, and talents to shine. It means that you are living life on your terms. It means that you don't make excuses or place unnecessary limitations on yourself. It means that you place healthy boundaries in your relationships and you don't give a crapola about what other people think of you or how you choose to live your life. It means that your ego is in the back seat and your spirit is in the driver's seat taking you to exciting and epic places. The light means that you love yourself and you no longer sacrifice your happiness. Now, The light also means that you have to make a move in your life. It means you have to take action. It means you have to break free from the comfy darkness and push yourself to achieve your dreams. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Dreams don't just happen. You have to make them happen. Dreams do not fall from the sky. You have to leave the darkness and come into the light. Come to the light. It's all about you, baby. You are the one thing standing in your own way. You are the one thing standing in your way of being happy and healthy and living a fulfilled life. You are standing in the way of you. Before we go on, I would like to thank our sponsor, Amberin. Amberin is the number one menopause supplement in the U.S. and clinically proven to provide relief of 12 major symptoms. Hot flashes, night sweats, fatigue, mood swings, weight gain, difficulty sleeping, irritability, anxiety and stress, low sex drive, joint aches, headaches, and difficulty concentrating. Wow, I think I just described myself. (laughs) Does this sound like you too? Welcome to menopause, ladies. I have personally decided to finally take control of my menopause, and I would absolutely love it if you join me on a 90-day Amberin journey. I'm posting the results of my Amberin journey on Instagram and Facebook, so follow me there to hear all about it. Just go to amberin.com using my link in the show notes and start your own journey to happy hormones. And now back to the show. I can totally relate because I was standing in the way of me. Honestly, it wasn't that long ago that I finally got the heck out of my own way. Even though I had a beautiful aha moment when I read Marianne Williamson's quote of not embracing my power and my light, it took me eight plus years to fully grasp it and to really do something about it. Those eight years were all necessary though. I learned about what I like and don't like what makes me happy and what makes me sad, who brings me love and who brings me hatred, how to be courageous and how to be weak, when to make a move and when to just chill out. And most importantly, I learned to let go and just be me. Those eight years were rough, but just like a butterfly struggling to break free from the cocoon, I too had to struggle to break free from my old self so I could fly. Before I started this podcast and embarked on my solo RV journey across the country, my first big stop, well, besides my Aunt Annie's house, (laughs) was a retreat at 10,000 Waves in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Absolutely gorgeous. I went to this beautiful resort three years ago after my brother passed away, and I felt this deep desire to return. 10,000 Ways was now offering this three-day transformational retreat, and innately, I knew it was something I had to do. I didn't know exactly why, but my RV just drove me there. I knew that something would be revealed to me within this retreat, and it most certainly was. Long story short, after spending a few days journaling, basking in nature, lounging in the spa, eating yummy, healthy food, meditating, and just taking care of Wendy, I had another aha moment, an epiphany, and the miracle I needed for my next chapter. I will probably sound a little cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs when I tell you this, (laughs) and I'm okay with that, but basically, I heard a voice. It was my voice, my inner voice, 
the voice of my spirit, and the voice of my higher self. It was quite honestly the voice that I usually try to hush because this voice is always pushing me to do more and be more so I can be happier. It's the voice that's always competing with the voice of my ego and all its limiting beliefs, excuses, and fears. For once, though, my mind was quiet and open enough to hear what it had to say. My wild spirit quite bluntly said to me, Wendy, you need to get the hell out of my way because I got shit to do. You and all your doubts and fears need to mosey on out of here. I have so much love and light to shine into this world, but you are blocking me from doing it. I've let you run the show for the first 50 years of your life, but you need to step aside and let me handle the next 50 years. If you would just let go and trust me, you'd have the best life ever. Capiche? Whoa. <laughs> Apparently, my bold spirit likes to cuss, practice tough love, and speak Italian. She's pretty funny, too. <laughs> I like her. Nevertheless, it woke me up. It was the nudge I needed to finally bust out of the cocoon and fly. I finally set myself free. I finally stepped aside, and I am so glad I did. In the same sense that you have the power to stand in your own way, you also have the power to push yourself out of the way. You have the power to come out of the dark, scary basement, plow through your fears, throw your limiting beliefs in the garbage disposal, <laughs> and just shove your doubts where the sun don't shine. You are powerful beyond measure, and you are so worthy of shining your light. All right, that was my wild spirit speaking tough love to you. <laughs> Do I also need to remind you that you're running out of time? Because you are. We all are. Get out of your own way and live the life you truly want to live before it's too late. By the way, my ex-husband died at the age of 26 years old. He never got a chance to even experience midlife, not even close. So whenever I whine and complain and block myself from shining my light, fulfilling my purpose and living my life with gusto, I think about Jason. I think about him saying to me, seriously, Wendy, I wish I had another day to live, love, and laugh. I wish I had a chance to cross things off my bucket list and start a new business. Why wouldn't you go for it? Why the hell not? I agree, Jason. I agree. Peeps, it's now or never. Stop listening to your ego and start listening to your spirit. Stop talking and start doing. I'm going to leave you with five simple ways to help you get out of your own way. Yes way. Y'all know how I love acronyms, so I created an acronym that'll be easy for you to remember. The acronym is S-T-A-N-D, STAND, as in take a stand from standing in your own way. S stands for stay in your own lane. Don't worry about what everyone else is doing and if they approve of what you are doing. Just focus on you and do what you gotta do, period. T stands for take a stand for yourself. Take a stand for who you want to be and the life you want to live. Now, standing up for yourself doesn't mean you got to be rude about it. Just simply create and state your boundaries and don't allow anyone or anything to interfere with your own personal growth. A stands for align with your spirit. Your spirit knows what's best for you and will always lead you in the right direction. You must get quiet enough in your mind to hear what your spirit has to say. Most importantly, you must act on what your higher self desires for you. N stands for never, ever, ever, ever give up. Like, ever. Getting out of your way to live your life to the fullest and becoming your most amazing self can be a lengthy process. Rome wasn't built in a day and neither will your new life. 
The key is to never give up on yourself even when the going gets tough. D stands for detach from the outcome. Let go of who you think you will become and how your life will unfold. Leave room for surprises, spontaneity, and miracles. That's where the beauty lies. Let the cookies crumble where they may and just enjoy the yumminess of your life. It is time for you to get out of your own way and take a stand for your happiness. From my wild spirit to yours, you got this. All right, now for the nuggets of midlife wisdom from today's show. Number one, my fave quote from Marianne Williamson, our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. Number two, the light means you are being your most untethered, unhinged, unstoppable, and unleashed self. Number three, the light also means that you have to make a move in your life. It means you have to take action. It means you have to break free from the comfy darkness and push yourself to achieve your dreams. Number four, you are the one thing standing in your way of being happy and healthy and living a fulfilled life. You are standing in the way of you. Number five, in the same sense that you have the power to stand in your own way, you also have the power to push yourself out of the way. Number six, get out of your own way and live the life you truly want to live before it's too late. Number seven, The five ways to take a stand from standing in your own way. Stay in your own lane. Take a stand for yourself. Align with your spirit. Never, ever, ever, ever give up. Detach from the outcome. Well, there you have it, folks. I hope that inspired you to make a move. I can't wait for you to shine your beautiful, bright sun rays into the world. I will see you out there, sunshine. Okay, midlifers, get out there and be bold, be free, be you. Did this podcast inspire you, challenge you, trigger you to make a change or spit out your coffee laughing? Good. Then there are three ways you can thank me. Number one, you can leave a written review of this podcast on Apple iTunes. Number two, you can take a screenshot of the episode and share it on the social media and tag me, Wendy Valentine. Number three, share it with another midlifer that needs a makeover. You know who I'm talking about. Thank you so much for listening to the show. Get out there and be bold, be free, be you.